Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. Gemini, it's funny. Um, I pulled out Virgo first today. I shoveled out the Zodiac deck. They came out and then I shuffled it again and you came out. And I didn't even realize it. Actually, it's really funny that that would happen because uh, somebody put in the comments for Virgo that, yay, Virgo's out and Mercury has gone, um, what is it? What is Mercury's going straight forward. It's out of retrograde, so... It's in its pop proper grade. And it's so funny. So the two signs that we get are ruled by Mercury. So there you go. It's funny how the stars work that way. So, gem gems. We're going to get started, my friends. We're going to get started with these little cherubs. I love them. They're so cute. And they have the sweet little messages for you. We're going to start with that. We're going to get into the tarot. Okay. I know it's not always sweet, but you never know. So we're going to, is it, all right, sensitivity is a gift. That's the overall energy of your reading. It came flying out. So it might be, this reading might be highlighting or reminding you that certain sensitivities that you have, these are great gifts um, that benefit yourself as well as, as, well as others. <clears throat> all right, I want to do a quick shuffle, one more. Okay, your mental emotional state. You are courageous and strong. Look at you. Look what happens when your planet is going straight forward. What you need to do to move forward. We're all different. <laughs> Not everybody's strong and courageous, maybe. But we're all different. It's recognizing the difference. And, um, well, what I don't know. Because <laughs> I have to pull out tarot cards. But that's what you need to do to move forward. We're just all different, man. Whatever. <laughs> recent past. Your recent past, the most significant in your recent. You are special. <laughs> you are special. Well, I don't know how that came across. You could have been talking to someone who didn't like you very much, right? We're all different. And this person said, yeah, you're very special. You're very special. <laughs> or there could have been something that I want to say happened here that kind of it's almost like the heavens or spirit something kind of connects to you and gives you this sense of belonging in the immediate future what's the most significant well you could be going to get a glass of water drink fresh water okay maybe you've been drinking shitty water stale water go get a drink of fresh water <laughs> that is funny I want to say that some of you, the next thing you do after this reading or right after you hear this is you might be going to get a drink of fresh water. Your strength. Don't let others make you feel bad. Right, Lily? Lily is Gemini. You want to come and say something? Well, come down here. Lily? I don't hear the clicky toes, so I don't know. You know, I love this because your mental emotional state is that you are courageous and strong and your strength is that you won't let others make you feel bad about yourself. Yeah, we're all different. That's fine. That's cool. You're not like me. That's okay. And yeah, well, you're special. <laughs> you are. And maybe you're special, though, in a certain way here that some other people or another person that you dealing with or you dealt with. I didn't recognize that. And there's no reason to feel bad about yourself, right? Because sensitivity is a gift. The energy that surrounds and supports you right now, your home, your homework. So studying, learning, researching, interesting, reading. Oh, what is it? Is there another one? Is it the, ah, the advice. Yeah, sorry. Love and value yourself. I love that. Love and value yourself. Well, aren't you just the greatest energy? I love it. Okay, the underline is dreams. Oh, listen closely and you'll hear messages. <laughs> He's holding up the cat. <laughs> He's holding up the cat. I want to say, though, maybe the cat's purring. And, you know, like you can hear certain sounds through, like, kind of white noise energies. Sounds, dreams. Listen closely and you'll hear messages about your dreams. But that's underlined. So to me, it's kind of like in the past. All right. That's enough of being all sweet here. Let's get into the tarot. 
Because, right? One of the oracle cards. You are one with the universe. All good things come to those who do good things. Yes. But then, you pull out the tarot. Molly, you're in life in danger, girl. <laughs> it's Whoopi Goldberg. I love that. Molly, you're life in danger, girl. <laughs> okay. That's true, too. <laughs> tarot will, like, pull on tell you. You gotta be careful. My cherubs are nice and sweet. Ooh, overall three. The three of swords. Sensitivity is a gift. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's the overall energy of your reading. Like being being someone that can be hurt. That's whoa. That's a gift. And then what you need to do to move forward is that we're all different. Not everyone that you deal with is someone who has the capacity to be hurt. That's kind of freaky because, you know, people that don't have the capacity to be hurt are probably sociopaths. I don't know. That's a good thing. I mean, it means you're a feeling human being. Your mind and your heart may not always agree as well. Your mental emotional state is you are courageous and you are strong. The Eight of Wands. You don't allow your fears to stop you. Fear is, I want to say fear is an opportunity to learn something. It's not a reason to control you. Interesting. Fear is an opportunity to learn about yourself. It's not something to control you. What you need to do to move forward. We're all different, man. The Six of Cups. Wow. <laughs> Someone from your your past is um, is different. <laughs> I don't know in what way. Your energy. It's, it's a gift that you can feel as much as you do. I mean, it's a difficult gift in this world. I can't remember what... It was. I think it was like a Netflix series or something. Uh, maybe it had been a movie. I don't know. It was... It was... How do I describe it? It was a couple of years ago that I watched it, but it's reminding me of this. Where basically... It was um, like a person, but he was like the soul version of a person. He was watching certain, li like a whole bunch of lives on sort of like... Um, a television screen right so like it was also adapted in a way that you could see you know how things were possible how they were happening so it's like this soul that's you know it's its job in soul world to watch all these other souls living their lives and I don't remember I think there was it's almost like sometimes maybe he would put things out there as little clues to some of these souls to help them along so I don't maybe even kind of like a guardian angel and he lost one of his um, his souls that he was watching over. And he was kind of devastated. And, like, they don't come back to him. They go back, I guess, to heaven, to source. So he doesn't see them. But he was at the point with this girl from the time she was born, you know. And, and then, but they he would only see everything through their eyes. And she became a musician, uh, I believe. But she also suffered with depression. And she ended up one day, she was just driving and he's kind of watching her with the other camera, the other TVs and the other souls watching her. She's driving somewhere and all of a sudden the car just went like this and she went right into um, the side wall of a bridge. <laughs> it's just like, that was it. And then the camera went out and it was gone and she like, right? And it was, I think someone who was going to incarnate or someone who connected with him somehow, it was weird. And it talked about how, or he talked about that incarnating is not what souls often expect it to be because the emotional aspect of it is very intense. So, you know, they don't feel this much intensity emotionally outside of being human in 3D. So I want to say it's like you're very human. You're very human to have the sensitivity in that aspect. So, recent past, you are special. The Knight of Pentacles. I don't know, maybe it feels like, I don't know, did God show you a special long-term plan here? There's um, a bigger plan for you? 
recent past. You are special. This is part of your plan. It's been incorporated into your plan. Where you're going. In the immediate future, you're going to get a glass of water. Not just any. Fresh. Fresh. <laughs> the Nine of Cups. I want to say that's almost like an Ace of Cups energy then, isn't it? The drink fresh water. Maybe. Maybe. This could also be about, right? It's at a bar. It's drinking spirits and things like that. Maybe you're going to start drinking better things. If you haven't been drinking better things, you're going to cleanse your body in the immediate future. You're going to drink a lot of water. Flush it out. Your strength is that you don't let others make you feel like shit. Oh, the Ace of Cups. <laughs> I feel good. I feel good. Dun, dun. I knew that I would. <laughs> we all dance like... You know, anyways. <laughs> I feel good. I don't know. Actually, I think he used to beat his wife, so I don't know how good that was. Um, energy that surrounds and supports you right now. Two of swords in your homework. Oi. <laughs> Might have something to do with studying your own intuition. It could be um, homework and two of swords. That's the energy that supports you right now. If you, that almost feels like. If you look carefully, you will get the answer that you're looking for. If you do your due diligence here, you will get the answer that you, you seek for whatever question is in your life here or is about to be. The advice for you is to love and value yourself. The Knight of Cups. Honor your heart. Honor your heart. Even though who you are is not easy to be because you are probably maybe even very empathic, incredibly uh, sensitive, connected to. There's so many little, everybody's holding like a little animal here. Well, not everybody, most. She's holding her book, doing her homework, holding the chickadee, playing with the frogs, trying to touch the butterflies, petting the horses, puppies, kittens, and butterflies everywhere. Holding a kitten, holding a bird. They're not always doing those things, right? Yeah, like, look at this one. This one's, like, making a wish. This one's smelling a flower. There's a bridge. Just an angel. Yeah, there's a ton. I feel like you're very empathic. Maybe, too, have a connection with probably, like, pets or pets, animals and children, maybe. The Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Two of Wands. So, it starts with the Two of Wands and the Three of Cups and then the Knight of Swords. You know, it kind of feels like trying to get out of certain friend groups or trying to come out of them. Um, trying to see beyond the groups that you've been connected to. And then you do. And then, I don't know, it's maybe almost things make sense. Like, you are, we're all different, right? That's what you need to do to move forward. We're all different. There's nothing wrong with you. I don't think you think there is, based on the cards that have come out. So that's good. Sensitivity is a gift. The Three of Swords. That's the overall energy of your reading. <clears throat> the Five of Wands. Oh, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. I want to say that some of you have had to work through this sensitivity. I want to say that you're probably someone who's fairly agreeable and open to experience. I feel like I'm just starting to describe, like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> fairly agreeable and open to experience. Because it kind of feels like, I want to say it's past, particularly based on the rest of the cards that have come out. That's why it feels like past to me. This is someone who maybe doesn't see the opportunities for themselves because of what other people say or how other people could sway you, other people's opinions. Um, this is actually a gift because I want to say you are capable of seeing many different sides of things, right? And also recognizing we're all different. So just because something is right for me doesn't mean it's right for you. But just because it's like, right, and I could also look at something that someone else is about to get involved in, and as long as it's not to something dangerous, 
you know, if I'm open-minded and it doesn't seem like something that would, you know, I would be interested in or would work out. Yeah, well, you know, you've got to live your life. But and I do feel like you've probably been easily influenced by others in the past, but this has changed. Now you're strong and courageous and these and what other people think their competing interests even, it doesn't bother you. It's not a problem. You'll go and do what you want to do. The King of Cups. Wow, the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, see? I really do think that you've... You've gone... Come, pa com come past something here that was... It almost feels like to me, other people telling you you couldn't have something or achieve it or that's not an option for you. But it almost feels, I want to say there's something about jealousy with this five of, this five of wands. You know, if they could work together really, really well, they could probably make something amazing in that cauldron. But it almost gives me this energy of, I want to be the one that, you know, puts in the right magic and the whole thing works out and everybody stands back and goes, oh, wow, look at you. I don't want someone else to be seen here and not me. But it totally is, they totally, like your mental emotional state is, I feel good. Boom, 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 boom. I knew that I would. Okay, what you need to do to move forward. We're all different. Six of Cups. Wow. All major arcana. Big ones. The Wheel of Fortune, Justice, and the Magician. I do feel like you're moving past... Uh, there's a dramatic change that's going to be happening for you, and it does feel like it has something to do with, I don't know, a group, friends, connections that you used to have, like getting outside, getting beyond that familiar zone of people. There could even be someone here, like what you need to do to move forward. Um, I want to say this is just being open. This is literally being open to experience. So that's interesting because there, I do feel like there's an awful lot of control that the universe has in terms of where you're going based on, like in this reading, you know, not necessarily everything going on in your life, but whatever this reading is about for you. Um, and I don't know, like honestly, right now, it looks like more than anything, it's about self-worth, but... I think it's just being open to experience because you are manifesting something or you're going to be finding yourself in a very different situation. Like the planets have turned a certain way. If timing has been off for you, it's like timing becomes correct. Everything is in balance and it's ready to go. Why all, why, why would the, we are all different? Is it just you got another major arcana, the High Priestess. I don't know. I think you just, you're going to see something. <laughs> you're going to see something. We are all different. Is this something that you were caught up in and you're not like them? You're not like the others. That's interesting. We, it's almost like a statement. Because this person is like giving someone flowers, right? Like giving something to another person here. And it's weird. It's almost like it's suddenly felt like they have stepped out of this group. The shenanigans of that group, the bullying or competitiveness. And it's almost like stepping forward and saying to someone, we're all different and I'm not like that. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but... Very interesting. That's like what your next move should be. 
I could even put this in like a work environment or something or a church group or anything like that. I mean, I'm not going to put it past a church group for there to be people that are, you know, gossipy. Oh, 100%. Right. And it could even be somebody who's come new into a workspace or new into a church group, new into the neighborhood. Some of these people you could be associated with who, I don't know, not the best energy, right? Um, maybe even not wanting others to feel welcome with that Eight of Swords. But this is honestly like the advice for you is there's an opportunity here to kind of step up and show that you're not like everybody else. I don't like to be the better, the better person. In the recent past, you are special. The Knight of Pentacles. It's like the Steady Eddie energy. The Knight of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. The Death card. And the Nine of Cups. Wow. What is that? That's curious. That's almost like... I don't know if... I feel like this is a statement or something that's happened. It's coming across to me like someone... Almost like someone saying... I've weighed all of the options and possibilities and I've looked and felt through everything very carefully. And you are the special, <laughs> it's like you are the special person here. And it's almost like that's nice to hear. <laughs> the death card and the nine of cups. <laughs> the death card and the nine of cups. Like, yeah, it's almost something that brings, I don't know, puts a, a skip in your step or something that's the recent past it's just honestly feels like you know there's this and then there's Gemini Gemini you're special <laughs> that's nice now in the immediate future well you could be going to a bar maybe you're gonna go out with some friends but you're gonna get some water you're gonna drink water you're getting a fresh drink I want to say it could be even celebrating could be celebrating and the nine of cups here too you're going to drink your dream your wish how your dream or wish was shown to you to be possible in the future you're going to be drinking from that cup drink fresh water nine of cups the ace of pentacles and the seven of cups well, it feels like picking the right cup. It feels like out of all the options and possibilities, I just heard out of all the the joints and, what is it, the joints and diners she could have walked in, she walked into mine. It was that Casablanca, right? Out of all the joints and, <laughs> that's gonna bug me now. How does that specifically go? It's that. There's there's the opportunity. You're holding it in your hand. It's not just a dream or a wish. You're going to drink from that cup in your future. That's nice. Your strength. Don't let others make you feel bad. The Ace of Cups. Oh, oh, no. Oh, went back in. Your strength is I'm going to feel good and nobody can change that, which is also nice with the Nine of Cups because that is like my emotional sovereignty card. Don't let others make you feel bad. The Ace of Cups, that's your strength. The Devil and the Knight of Swords. Well, oh, the Knight of Swords here, right? It was almost like trying to get out of a friend group or trying to get out of something or trying not to be connected or associated with something. Well, yeah, there you go. The devil will make you feel bad about yourself all day and every day and all night long. Who's this devil? You have a lot of major arcana, actually. Let me just take a second here. Do you? Yeah. Well, you have the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, the Magician, the High Priestess, the Death Card, and the Devil. Well, you have six. Tell us about the devil. Ooh. Landed on the devil. Bye-bye. So long. 
the world card and then the five of swords came out and it kind of came out reversed because that's how it landed but it kind of flew across it. I want to go with it because that to me feels like I don't need to get involved in this with the five of swords this is not worth me getting involved this is um not in my best interest I don't care about this I'm not going to do it so with the world it's just like yeah bye bye so long farewell I don't know, some of you, I don't know, maybe this is someone, like a relationship you had, but it feels like a group. It feels like a group of people. And almost like trying to disassociate from them. Which seems to be all in your best interest. The energy that surrounds and supports you right now. The two of swords and the homework. <laughs> two of swords and homework. say maybe you've done your homework the three of cups ah it's at a source there they are <gasps> what yeah well I feel like y'all have figured something out here about or you will that's the energy that's supporting you you're going to figure something out you don't I want to say it's not like you have to look really hard, right? It's almost like it's in the book. It's in the book that you were given, you told to read from this chapter to that chapter. And, okay, so you go in there and you're going to find the answer. So it's not that hard to go digging around. To know, I want to say that there's somebody here who backstabbed you. Somebody here who backstabbed you? Maybe because you were trying to disassociate from the group? The advice is love and value yourself. Because, yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks like this is an energy that you've been dealing with or you've dealt with that likes to devalue. It likes to devalue those around because I want to be the one who gets recognized for making the cauldron go pop. Mm hmm? And I want you to believe that you don't have options in your future. So it's kind of like crawling out of the hole from that. I value and love yourself. The Knight of Cups. The King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. There could have been some type of rule here. That you had to follow? It's almost like a rule that you have to follow to do, like with work, maybe? Maybe this is a group that you would work with? It's if it, anything, it's at least understanding, like very clearly understanding the excellent work that you've done on yourself. I mean, that's really highlighted in this reading. The Emperor's at the bottom, and just that. Listen closely, and you'll hear messages, right? Your underline. Dreams. Whoops. Oh, I flipped. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, that's what I have, Gemini. There you go. Coming out of Mercury retrograde. There you go. The two Mercury signs got done today. I'm going to go do the extended. In the extended, I'm going to look at what is the energy that is out there that is like the surprise from the universe and what is your weakness that you need to work on and potential outcomes for you. That's what I have. Thank you so much, Gemini. Until next time, be gentle with yourself. Bye.